Well, not good enough in the first. Uh, you know, we didn't uh, compete hard enough. Um, we didn't execute well enough. And so then you get yourself down 3 nothing. you're digging yourself out. We, we came out in the second and played harder. We, we did lots of things way better, but we didn't play smart at all. So then we gave up, you know, crazy chances where it's uh, uh, too easy to score against us. So um, not good enough. Henrik put some of us on him for guys not being ready to go out of the gate. How much of this is, is a leadership thing and how much of this is just guys having to look themselves in the mirror and get going? Well, ultimately, it's on me. Um, you know, that's my job is to make sure that, that they're ready. So you know, um, I appreciate Henrik saying that. But, you know, I, I would say this. I think without question, though, you got to look at yourself in the mirror and make sure you're ready to go. And, and we had too many guys not ready to go. How big of a concern is that? The not ready to go, guys talking about I'd be it. concerned if I didn't have 100% belief in the group in this locker room. So I have 100% belief in the group in this locker room, so I'm not concerned long-term at all. I'm concerned about tonight, which wasn't good enough, but I don't have any worries about the level of leadership or the level of uh, character that we have uh, to a man in this locker room. Talk about the game, Jeff, about the scoring chance, giving up the quality scoring. Mm-hmm. That's basically what happened tonight. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we gave up way too many big-time chances. I thought we'd done a a really good job of that overall of not doing that since the Ranger game. Um, you know, even last night we didn't give up that many real good chances like that. And, and tonight it was just too many big time chances. What led to you making the goaltending change and what did you see from the guys after that point? Well, I, it just that he had given up four. It was, Peter's been excellent for us. Uh, I just didn't want to leave him in there and continue to hang him to dry. Sometimes you just need a momentum change. So I thought I was hoping a momentum change uh, we could gain from that. And, um, you know, that was it. And uh, both goalies have been excellent. And it certainly wasn't their fault tonight. With, with as good as Jimmy has been, though, do you think about using him more moving forward? Well, we evaluate all our guys uh, every day. So we'll continue to evaluate each one of them every day. So in terms of the giving up the easy chances and the defensively, do you think you weren't hard enough on them, especially the puck carrier, maybe uh, not physical enough, knocking them down more? Or? I don't know if it was necessarily that answer. I thought it was just, uh, first of all, some of the rushes against. We did a poor job with our F3. We did a poor job with our deep pinches at times. Uh, we, we didn't get above people. We should have got above people. But we just made lots of mental mistakes. I mean, you know, we should have got a puck deep. Um, Next thing you know, it turns into a penalty. Next thing you know, it's a face-off in which we win and we don't clear it. Next thing you know, it's in our net. I mean, that's just easy stuff that, you know, we talk about doing it right more than the other team. Well, we didn't do it right more than them tonight. Larkin scores, and it kind of gives you a little bit of momentum. It's 3-1, to one, but then you gave up a quick goal right after. That's got to be a little disheartening. Yeah, and that, that, you know, again, when you're pushing hard, you know, I, that's where I thought we came out in the second and we, and we competed way harder. We played the fastest we've played in a while. But you're pressing too much, and you just give up easy chances. So you know that's not a formula for long-term success. And but it, it was a step better than the first for sure. What positives do you take away from this one? Uh, none. What about the power play though? Getting it. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I don't know about none. I guess I shouldn't say that. I mean, I, I think I, in the end, I look at each game, and we, 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 you know, I'm going to break down. I'm going to have a. 200 some clips and some of them are going to be good and some of them are going to be bad and I'm sure the good ones will will use and the bad ones will use I mean the power play score that's good um, you know obviously that 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 other unit uh, well I shouldn't say other I mean the unit with Nielsen there was real good I thought Nielsen was our best power play player today and um, that's a positive for sure we've talked a lot this year about and then schedule how energy and mm-hmm. sharpness mm-hmm. is going to be an issue for that you know, I, I, it can. It can. I mean, it's no excuse. So we can't allow that to be an excuse. But um, I know that you know, certainly my coaching staff felt like they looked tired. And so we got to make sure we refresh it up uh, tomorrow and come back to work on Tuesday.